this will be a pre-COVID get ready with me date night edition. So while I attempt to spa it up, this is the reality of all the noises going on around me. What? I'm trying to recreate a spa experience that mm, I don't know if it's working out, but here is Rodeo's Dragon Blood Eye Masks. And they're supposed to hydrate under the eye, give you an awakened look, they're supposed to fight free radicals, dark circles, puffiness. I do find them very hydrating and they do depuff. And on the rest of my face, I have the Rose Face Mask by Fresh and it's infused with real rose petals. It's supposed to hydrate and tone. I don't know about toning, but it's definitely extremely hydrating and I have used this for years and I really do like this product. I use a warm washcloth to take the product off my face. Now gizzes at my feet, wanting a bit of attention. Next, I'm putting on Boshia Cactus Water Moisturizer. And I like this because it's lightweight, but it's pretty effective. My skin is supple, really moisturized. I'm all about skin prep before putting makeup on and I need my skin to be very moisturized and exfoliated. This isn't the first time you've seen this. This is the Nurse Jamie Uplift Massaging Beauty Roller and it feels good. It helps with circulation. It basically massages the products into my skin. I usually wear an aqueous turban when I'm in the shower or when I want to put my hair up during skin prep, but now I'm going to take it down and have a very messy ponytail. I use Slip the Silk Scrunchies because they're very soft and they do not damage your hair. Now it's makeup time and I'm using Glossier Soothing Face Mist and it's a rose water spray. It's a fantastic hydrating spray. I love the smell. I love the feel of it. It's just really cooling and relaxing. When I want to feel extra fancy, I bust out my Tatcha Silk Canvas Protective Primer and that's going to be a great first step because it does kind of set your makeup for success. It helps it last longer. It creates a really smooth, beautiful barrier and it helps against free radicals as well as clogged pores. So you're not going to have breakouts. And next is foundation. And I always use my Holy Grail Armani Beauty Luminous Silk Foundation. It is color number six and it's a medium tone with warm undertones. When I do a road trip from San Francisco to LA, I usually bring these small little portable travel cosmetic containers. Now they do have the potential to leak, so I wouldn't say they're the best for traveling abroad, but something kind of local or a road trip, they work very well. So I'm going to grab my trusty beauty blender and I love this makeup sponge. It's awesome. It just basically creates a very beautiful light, natural airbrushed look to your skin. This foundation is just beautiful and natural looking. I mean, I still have texture with this foundation, but it really does soften the texture on my cheeks. And here's my significant other being a sweetie and giving me a pillow because this chair is hurting my butt. for my eyes is going to be my OG Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and I use the original formula and that's a sheer nude hue. My eyelids are oily so it really helps kind of control the oil. It helps my eyeshadow stay creaseless and just kind of set for as long as I want it to. For concealer, I'm going to use Glossier's Stretch Concealer. It is supposed to be a flexible, buildable type of coverage. I love it because it's very natural, it's not heavy, and it just blends well into my skin. I use G8, and that is a medium neutral shade. So I'm going to use in this palette the Heart Beat Pressed Blush, and it's supposed to be a romantic flush of color, and I'm going to use that on my eyelids.
So for the base, I'm going to use my Surratt Beauty Medium Smoky Eye Brush. And this actually feels like feathers on your eyelid. It feels amazing. My face looks really hard if I have a crap ton of makeup on. So just a softer look. And I feel like these brushes pick up a perfect amount of pigment. So here I'm going to bust out my Surratt Beauty Artistique eyeshadows and the shadows are interchangeable in the palettes. So you can either get a small one or you can get a little bit of a larger one. You can fit more either blushes or the little eyeshadows. I'm using Dora Rose, Brune Noir, New and Corsage in this palette. I sweat profusely, so here I am uh, putting some tissue underneath my armpit. Sorry, this is how I get ready. Here I am mixing Brune Noir as well as Corsage, and I'm using that in my crease. Here I'm going to use my favorite eyeliner, and it's so easy to travel with. It's the Black Orb Enigmatic Coal Eyeliner in the Blackest of the Black Abyss, and it's by Ritual Diffie. I just find it really easy to use, and especially with my Haku Hodo brush. I can take product out of the orb and I can really place it between my lashes and create a precise and easy line. The last time I was in Japan, I bought a few Hakuhodo brushes and I'm very excited to use them. As you can see, I haven't yet. They're still in the packaging. I have two brushes here and one is going to be the S162. This is the S100 series, the Vermilion brushes. And this I'm actually, it's an eyebrow brush. It's angled and I'm Actually, I like using eyebrow brushes because I feel like it really gets in between my eyelashes. So I'm taking the Ritual Defeat Coal Liner and I'm basically pressing it into my lash line and then extending a petite wing. Here I'm going to clean up the wing with a little cotton swab. For blush, I'm going to use the NARS, the multiple. It's basically that whole, like the famous orgasm blush shade. I just like it because it's like a peachy pink shimmer. And yes, when I put blush on, I look, I look like an idiot. I'm sorry. I smile to get the cheekbones up. Let that be light. Let that be light. Right, this is better. I've been doing this in the dark. This is quite embarrassing. So now I'm going to use my Surratt Beauty Small Smoky Eye Brush. I'm using the RMS Beauty Confession Luminizing Powder kind of above and around my eyes. It's this pretty soft iridescent shade. It's a very beautiful but very subtle glow. I have my Anastasia brush and then the pomade in the dip brow pomade in soft brown. I just use like a little bit. For my lipstick and lip balm application, because I'm going to mix the two, I'm going to use my Haku Hodo S170 lip brush. What's up, guys? And coming in here. I have different eyelash curlers, but my favorite is the Surat Beauty Releve Lash Curler. So the Monsieur Big Mascara by Lancome definitely needs to be cleaned off. It brings out so much product, but once you clean it off and put it on, it's pretty good. It gives my lashes volume, a little bit of length, but it also doesn't like crust up and fall into my eyes. I have that problem with certain mascaras. This one's pretty good. 
I was recently introduced to the Marc Jacobs Beauty Fine Liner. I'm using Cinderella, which is a smoky, deep smoky gray. I'm obsessed with this. It's so precise that you can really get into your upper inner lash line. So the lip pencil that I'm going to use is an orange red. It is 076 by Bite Beauty. So I not only do the perimeter of my lips, I actually fill it in. So when I put lipstick on as well as the lip balm, it keeps the color vibrant a bit longer. So for date night, I'm going to stay in the orange red family because I want my lips to be va va voom, but I want my eyes to be feminine and just more subdued. So it's going to be the Hot Fury Bright Orange True Velvet Lipstick Color by Lisa Eldridge. And this is the color Velvet Morning. It's one of my favorite lipsticks. It looks beautiful on all skin tones. And that beautiful velvety texture gets me every time. I'm just a huge fan of the shade and it really lights up your face. For more moisture and to keep the lipstick looking fresh a little longer, I always add, even to my matte lipsticks, Kosas Lip Fuel and Rush. And I just add them, either I wear them alone or I add them to my lipsticks and they're always a fantastic kind of moisturizing layering agent. So to kind of control my T-zone, I'm using RMS Beauty's Tinted Unpowder Talc-Free Setting Powder. And basically I am a shade 44, so I'm using the shade three through four. The shade I'm using works for 33, 44, and 55. So the cosmetic puff that I'm using is the Beauty Blender Power Puff. Oh my God. <laughs> It picks up and it distributes a perfect amount of product. Like it's not too much, it's not too little, it's perfect. Also, it has this like satiny kind of feel inside. So when you put your fingers inside, oh God, that sounds really weird, but <laughs> it feels good. It feels good. I like soft things. Last, but definitely not least, is my Gucci Westman highlighter stick. I put this on the upper part of my cheekbones. I put on the bridge of my nose as well as my cupid's bow. And this is kind of, it's not like a bling bling highlighter. It's a beautiful, subtle glow. The color is listed as a glassy iridescent hue. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to press the bell for notifications when I release a new video. And please don't forget to press the like button. This was a get ready with me pre-COVID date night video. Bye. Here, let there be light. Let there be light.